When it comes to energy, I really like people to think a little bit outside of the box because we suspect that the energy of the body is beyond even the science that we know. And the, um, it was Einstein who actually said um, some of the most important things cannot yet be measured. That's what I love. It's so interesting. So for example, there is this um, person in Japan. His name is Masuro Imoto. And he spent his life trying to figure out how to flash freeze water crystals and identify the properties of water just as it freezes so that. But what he went on to do is to show that we actually can affect water. And he would label bottles of water, love, hatred, peace, war, and the crystals would change. So the crystals would become beautiful or they would become decrepit again, you know, where they couldn't form themselves versus a crystal that looks like a snowflake. And if we're 70% water, this can affect us. This can affect the healing potential in every cell of our body. And so the energy that we have every day, uh, that we have the power to actually help ourselves in our healing by what we say and how we speak. Hence the power of meditation, the power of laughter, the power of you know, mindful practices are working through a quantum physics level. And I love this, this is my passion, is the fact that we ourselves can affect our outcome every single day.